Hello everyone and welcome to another devlog video for Homegrown, the casual farming game I'm making using my own engine. This week it's going to be another gameplay feature. I'm going to be implementing the town's vegetable competition uh, where you can enter your best vegetables for a chance to win various prizes including some collectible medals. So just going to jump straight into some programming this morning. I'm going to be filming as I go along as always and uh, I'll try and show you the entire process that I go through while I'm implementing this feature. First up this week I wanted to implement hot loading for the UI settings because a lot of people suggested it last week after I mentioned how annoying it was to have to restart the game every time I change any of the UI settings. So I can now put the UI settings in a file like this and then I set up a system to access those values in the code. And then I'm also using Java's file watcher class to keep an eye on the file, see when it's edited and whenever it gets edited I can reload those values and also trigger the UI to update. So I'll give you a quick example of this in the game. I've just set up this really simple UI and these are the settings for it. So if I go ahead and change the padding around the green block to 50, uh, as soon as I save that, and I'm just gonna press Control S to save it, you can see it updates instantly in the game. I can also change the width or change one of these colors. So that's all working great now. That's gonna save me loads of time. So thank you very much for that suggestion. Just made one other little change to the UI that was suggested last week, which was to darken the background when I open up a UI like this so that the UI is more in focus. I think it would also be nice to blur the backgrounds a bit, um, but my engine doesn't have that capability at the moment, but it will do soon. When I next work on graphics, I'll be implementing a post-processing pipeline, and then I'll also be able to blur the background too. Before I go any further, I just need to quickly explain the vegetable quality system in Homegrown, which has been in the game for ages, but I don't think I've ever really talked about it. So each vegetable that you harvest can have one of three qualities. It can be normal quality, good, or premium quality. The main ones that you're going to encounter are the first two. When you harvest a plant, the chance of the vegetable being good quality is proportional to the health of the plant at the time. So if your plants are all perfectly healthy, then you're going to get all good quality produce. But if your plants are at like 60% health, then you're going to get around 60% good quality and 40% normal quality produce. The idea behind this is to reward you for looking after your plants well, because the better you look after them, the better their health will be, the more good quality vegetables you'll get, and therefore the more money you'll make, because the good quality vegetables sell for more in the shops and do better at the farmer's market. The premium quality vegetable is much rarer, I think it's like a 1 in 200 chance if your plants are at perfect health, and they're meant to be just a nice little bonus that you get now and again if your crops are well looked after. Currently all you can do with these is to sell them at the shops, and they sell for a lot more than the other qualities, which is nice. But it's these premium quality vegetables that you're going to be able to enter into the vegetable competition, which is what I'm implementing at the moment. So I've been working on this for a couple of days and um, I've got a very, very rough prototype of the system set up. So I can give you a quick demo. So the vegetable competition is going to take place in the farmer's market field once every week on market day. And I've just created this temporary model that I can click on to open up the vegetable competition. So these are all the premium vegetables in my inventory that I could enter. So I'm just going to um, enter this carrot here into the competition and the competition's finished. I came second apparently. Obviously that part needs a lot more animations and effects and a bit of suspense. Um, but the idea is that it generates four opponents and then you get ranked by weight. And if you come first or second, then you get some prizes that you can collect. So it's pretty much luck, but obviously it is based on the weight. So you have a rough idea of how likely you are to win. So yeah, that's the, the very basics. And now I need to make this whole thing look and feel a bit nicer or a lot nicer, hopefully. 
So I got started trying to make some graphics for the UI, but I'm going to stop for the evening, so I'll continue on with that tomorrow. I did just want to quickly show you a new hobby that I've been doing recently, which is some electronics. I used to do electronics at university, but I haven't really done any since then. Uh, but recently I was watching some videos on YouTube by Benita. I'm sure many of you have seen them as well. He has this fantastic series where he builds a simple 8-bit computer from scratch and that's what I'm trying to recreate here using his videos as a guide. Haven't got very far yet, I've just got a couple of registers set up, the ALU and the output, and currently it's set up to just count up in fives, which is about the most interesting thing it can do at the moment, but I'll show you it again in a future video when it's all finished. This morning I've been working a bit more on the art that I'm going to use in the UI to make it look nicer. So I've just been in Blender creating this frame for the UI. And then I was trying to create um, a 2D banner that I could use to display the results of the competition in. And I'm not very good at 2D art. So first I tried making a 3D version in Blender, thinking that I could then take a picture of it and use it as a 2D graphic. Um, but I wasn't really happy with the results of that so I then went into Illustrator which I've not really used before but I had some success there creating a banner um, but then I went back to GIMP and had another go there and I think I came up with a design that fits my UI style a bit better so that's what I'm going to go with. So this is how the UI looks now with the frame around it and in the results page I've added the banner and I also just created these little medal icons so that I can show who came first and second. So I think I'll leave the UI work there for now and I'm going to get into Blender and make a model for a proper model for the competition tent. Here's the finished model for the competition tent. I think it turns out quite nicely. We've got some carrots lined up here being judged, the scales to weigh them. And here you can see it in the game, in the town. It pops up once a week on market day to allow you to access the competition. Next up today, I've been doing some work to add some animations to the competition UI to make it a bit more exciting. I've been using my UI animation system, which I wrote five years ago. And it's not the best, it definitely needs some more work, um, but it's just about good enough to do what I want to do. Um, so I've got these pre-made animations that I can use and customize, and I can then apply them to any UI components. And my animation system also allows me to, to give a, a set delay for that animation so that um, it won't be carried out until after a certain time and that allows me to choreograph some slightly more complex behaviors uh, So let me just show you this in the game So you can see the the opponents now come in one by one using that delay feature and Then after that the result is Revealed which hopefully makes it a little bit more suspenseful a bit more exciting than just showing the results all at once and yeah, it definitely needs a bit more work. Obviously when you win something, it should have some special effects, um, but this is a good start. I've just been doing a bit of work on how the weights of your vegetables are displayed. I wanted to color code them so that it's more obvious which ones are heavier and which ones are lighter. So I came up with this quick color palette or color gradient here with the lighter vegetables are going to be this less saturated color at the bottom going up to the heavier um, vegetables which will be this more the darker more saturated more exciting colors near the top and i then just created this quick class which allows me to create the color gradient in the code and sample it at any point and then in the game you can see the result here i think it makes a big difference you can instantly see which of your vegetables are the heaviest and more likely to win and in the results page as well you can quite quickly see whether you've beaten your opponents just by the colour of the weights. 
One more little update regarding the weights. I wanted you to be able to tell the weight of your vegetable before you go into the competition. So I've now added that information to the tooltip, the item tooltip. And I also tried adding a color coded weight icon on top of the vegetable icon itself so that you can tell just by looking at it um, roughly how heavy it is. But I don't really think that that worked very well. So I'll probably rethink that. Um, but the idea behind this was so that when you're in the shop, you can at least tell which are your good vegetables, your heavy vegetables, so you know which ones to save for the competition and which ones you can just sell straight away. So, start of a new day, start of the final part of this update, which is going to be the collectible medals which you can win at the competition. There's going to be one medal for each vegetable type, and the idea is that you'll collect them. There's also going to be a little medal display item that you can place in your farm to display your medals as you collect them. And um, collecting them is going to have some benefit to your farm. I haven't decided quite what yet, but I've got a few ideas that I want to try out today. So first up today, I've been creating the icon for all of the medal items, which has been a bit of a process. I started off by creating a 3D model for a medal in Blender, and I then used my icon creation program to convert that into a 2D icon, which I could export. And I then took that into GIMP, and I drew on a little vegetable icon for all of the vegetables in the game, uh, which obviously took a while. And I colored in the ribbons as well, to match the vegetable, and here is the result. Here are all of the gold medals for all the vegetables that are currently in the game. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think they look very cute and very collectible, which is great. So I'm gonna start adding these into the game now. Just been adding all of the items for the medals. Uh, so I created this medal component, which allows me to link the medal to the relevant vegetable. And then in the game, if you win a competition, it just fetches the linked medal and awards that to you, along with a couple of other prizes. Um, for now, what you can do with these medals is convert them into money by selling them for now at the, at the vegetable store. Doesn't make a whole load of sense, but it works for now. Um, but next I'm going to be implementing a display table for your medals so that you can also collect them. Um, but you only need to collect one per vegetable type, which is why you would want to sell the rest. So here is the medal display table in the game. I haven't worked on its functionality yet, but the way that this is going to work is that the entities split up into multiple parts. So the table is one part, and then each of these medals is its own individual part. And this allows me to show or hide each medal individually. So you can see I'm testing that out here just by randomizing which ones are shown and which ones are hidden at the moment. And I can also choose the color of the ribbon for each medal, and that will allow me to make it look like there are specific medals in specific slots. So I've just been building on this, and I've added a couple of interactions to the medal display now. So one of these allows you to click on it with a medal, and that will display the relevant medal on the table, and the other one uh, just allows you to click on it with an empty hand like this, and that will open up the UI for the display table. Um, so let me just demonstrate adding a medal to it. Whenever I click on it with one of these medal items, it displays the correct medal on the table with the correct colored ribbon. It can't show the icon on the medals yet. That's something I want to do, but my engine doesn't really support it at the moment. It will do when I next work on graphics. So I'll implement the icons then. Just finished work on the UI for the medal table, so now you can click on it to get a better look at the medals that you've got in there. 
I do want to add some functionality that will allow you to click on them and remove them from the table. I haven't done that yet, but I did implement this reputation panel. Uh, so the more medals you have on display, the higher your reputation is. And with higher reputation, your produce sells for more in the shops. So I wanted to do this so that the medals aren't just cosmetic, there is an actual gameplay reason why you would want to try and win them and collect them, because they're going to help to make your farm more profitable. So that's going to be it for this update for now. I'll definitely do another iteration on it at some point because there's still quite a few things I'd like to improve. Um, for example, I need to consider whether I'm gonna have silver medals as well as gold medals. I'd also like to connect it up a bit more with other parts of the game. For example, there could be a fertilizer that you can use to increase your chance of getting premium or heavier vegetables. And I'd also like to make it possible for you to enter multiple competitions at once so that you don't have to do it uh, individually vegetable by vegetable. At the beginning of the game it's probably fine, but later in the game when you're getting lots of premium vegetables that might take a little bit too long. But that's all stuff that's going to have to wait for another time. Before I finish I want to say a massive thank you to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Viechu, Jack, Daryl Zuniger, Kevin Shaw, Peter Ostazen, Ingo Moore, Henning K.O., Helson Taveras, Andrew Romans, Marys, Shadeless Fox, Kimo Tamio, Coda the Tyler, Ross from Two Minute Tabletop, Nikat Azgazada, Zanil Ambakar, Atomic Code, Walden Yan, Chris Naismith, Alan Lance, Wonoff, Dieter Reinert, Harry Chung, John Needham, Christopher Poe, Matthias Bader, Hagen Vingard, Matthew Connaughton, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Sean McCrory, Kathleen Coder, Timothy Gibbons, Alexander Chavez, and Neil Blakey Milner. So a massive thank you to you guys, and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this week though, that is it, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.